This is the energy vibration reading for the Taurus Sun Moon and Rising sign. It is the first week for you, Tauruses, for the year 2019. And this week is a heart week all over. You have temperance, you have your sister zodiac sign of the Virgos in the for the week energy, and you have the Taurus, your other sister sign, which is their birthday that is going on. So you Tauruses are blessed. So we're calling up. On the light beams, angels and guides of the Taurus and Moon are rising, and the spirit guides of the Taurus says to come in. Please like, share these videos, thumbs up, thumbs up, shares, and cross watch. You Tauruses, I love you guys. Thank you for returning to another wonderful year. Let's see what's happening for you, Tauruses. Okay, you Tauruses, let's see what is happening for the Tauruses. Nothing flew out, so it's good. Some of you Tauruses is um, moving forward from a heartbreak to number 33. You guys are number 33. And a work situation. You're moving forward from a heartbreak and a work situation, okay? Um, this heartbreak come over a work situation or a business deal or something like that, okay? Three three eight. Whatever is happening, you have three three eight. Energy of the moon is here, number eighteen. So, um, the energy of the moon, your intuition is going to be guiding you in this week, you Tauruses. So, uh, take advantage of that situation. Now, some of you could be really turning your back on a heartbreak. Someone has broken your heart, and it could be a loss at your work. So maybe you could be receiving a message, or your intuition is telling you, and that is happening. Let's see what's coming out for the other half of the week. Queen of Swords is here. Um, the Queen of Swords is someone at your work. Uh, Queen of Cups is here. So you have the energy with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups don't really like that and the seven of cups is coming up so that is good so someone ooh, queen of cups the queen of swords and the queen of cups hmm okay queen of swords and the queen of cups okay the four of one you have a strong foundation you um you um Tauruses, you have a very strong foundation. You're beginning the year be very strong. So, some of you could be dealing with a situation that has to do with these two ladies. These two ladies are coming up as your sisters, your mother, um, your partners, and some of you could be heartbroken from the. Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups could have break your heart. Queen of Cups could have break your heart. Now, this Queen of Cups could be uh, Queen of Cups is um, a Cancer. Okay, the Queen of Cups is a Cancer. Um, whatever the heart broken was, it could be a mom. It could be a family member. Okay. All right, let's see what you Tauruses should be focusing on in this first week of the year 2019. What should the Taurus? Okay, all right, I got it, got it, got it, got it. Just spread it out like that. They're saying this was the first one that comes out. King of Pentacles. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, you Tauruses, good messages, good news. Uh, good messages, good news. Okay, you have a strong foundation. You have the energy of the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, you have a strong foundation, whether it's in business, Wheel of Fortune, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So, you people between the ages of 18 and 45 it's a good week and you have the energy of the sun success so your business if you're in business your business is going to be a huge success you have the wheel of fortune and the sun so you people between the ages of 18 and 45 if you are um at home whatever it is success is coming for you tauruses okay um, that was the message with the strong foundation. It could be at home. I'm seeing celebration. I'm seeing the wheel of fortune, knight of pentacles, wheel of fortune, knight of pentacles, and the energy of the sun. 
So, um, uh, this is good. Okay, your intuition about your stability and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so it is a profound good week. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn who is going to be coming in. They could be also helping you to open up doors for yourself, doors of opportunity. This could be happening, but you guys have the support of the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. And the energy of the Sun this is a successful week for some of you Taurus so let's go and see some judgment calls is going to be coming out three of ones has to do with your turning your back on the organization or um, art breaks oh my god oh my god oh my god I'm gonna show you what it is damn okay oh 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 okay oh twice judgment so there is going to be a lot of judgment call it could be at work there's going to be a lot of judgment call could be at work um some of you are going to be turning your back on an organization um um it could be some of you decide to move it could be some of you receive some money and you decide to move but whatever it is you're saying goodbye to a group of people an organization you're thinking I'm taking my reign back I'm leaving you I don't need this to follow me my entire life and that is good this I haven't seen in a very long time whatever is happening in you Taurus says this for some of you Tauruses who are dealing with a woman that is a Pisces cancer or a Scorpio heartbreak she's going to be heartbreak it's double 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 heartbreaks but so some of you who are dealing with the, um, an Aquarian Gemini or Libra or a Pisces cancer or a Scorpio it's not looking good not looking good it's not looking good listen to your intuition because that's what your intuition is saying they're trying to bring someone else's in your life but you're holding on to this person you need to let go of this person listen to your intuition at work some of you are dealing with um and Aquarius Gemini or Libra at work now whoever this Aquarian Gemini or Libra is she is working with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius between the age of 18 and 45 hey be aware of this person okay um, you're gonna see the truth and you're going to know exactly what's happening you're gonna be seeing the truth okay I just need to get some clarifier on this this tree of swords coming out twice oh my god you guys have so much threes in this week three of swords what is this all about three of swords what is this all about tell me the message it's about people in power and connection oh god some of you who are married are going to be so there was some heartbreaks um some of you could find out about your parents some heartbreaks but it's gonna get better um it's as if whatever has transpired this three of swords energy whatever has transpired it has to do with people who were connected with their twin flame or soulmate people who are connected with their twin flame or soulmate okay because what is transpiring is that the power the misuse of power um, some of you were heartbroken because of the misuse of power someone has misused their powers okay and it could be in um, a financial agreement, a relationship, um, but someone has misused their power. So it could be in a relationship, okay? Because I'm seeing the ring and the heart. So obviously, it's the people who are being, um, uh, uh, who are married, um, there could be misuse of powers um, in a relationship, and it has to do with financial stability. Um, and that is uh, um, going to have a huge effect on your relationship okay marriage partnership civil union so um, some of you are going to be having heartbreaks some of you it could be an end of your marriages okay now a situation at work and this is with the latest if you were married 
with um, an Aquarius Gemini or Libra person you are going to be finding out that she is in a relationship with the Knight of Wands. So whoever she is, she's in a relationship with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay. Now this week is that you're going to be finding out something. Your intuition is going to be um, aligning you with something, and you're going to realize the truth about a situation. Some of you are dealing with um, the Queen of Cups. There is going to be the end of your relationship, heartbreaks with this lady. This lady is a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion, but you're protected from this person. You still have a strong foundation. You're still going to hold the house. Okay, it's your house. You bought it. Um, the energy of the Seven of Cups with a judgment call. There's twice judgment in your reading. Twice judgment in your reading. We want to know. Um, there's a lot of offers, but there's judgment call. What's happening? What is happening? We need to know. Seven of cup with judgment. What is happening? Okay. So, um, some of you are going to be receiving some messages. Um, now there's a friend overseas you are very you're receiving some psychic messages because the moon comes up twice in your reading okay now there was some offer and something there but whoever is going to be connecting with you from overseas be aware of this person this person is a friend um this person is a friend it's as if some of you uh, who have long-distance relationship um, there is some deceptiveness um, that is happening okay so there is some deceptiveness okay travel companionship um, some of you could be um, traveling overseas okay this is good um, some of you uh, may be returning home or some of you are traveling to see someone is always returning home after you go some of you have been on a relate I've been on a vacation trip with someone um uh, some of you are going to be taking romantic trips and connecting so I'm seeing some of you who are on vacation is going to be meeting someone there's a lot of love that is going on you know someone some of you it was a friend who has now become a lover so that is a situation but as I look at your week overall um, your business is good okay overall your business is good your business is strong you're working hard your business is good your business is strong you're working hard um, and you have the wheel of fortune especially for the younger people and the Sun okay success is coming for the rest so for the younger people between the age of 18 and 45 there is um, something good that is coming in your life and for the rest of the people a high energy is a, is a high energy week is a positive week there is a lot of positive things that is going to come in now there is judge a judgment call someone who has done something the jealousy and the lies is coming to an end okay the jealousy and the lies is coming to an end some of you if there's a third party in your relationship this is also coming to an end okay let's check out what animal spirit guides is going to be working with you guys reading as change up okay alrighty and which other message wants to come out for the Torah says okay set so, oh <laughs> Ah, choose card one with the ring on my finger card two without the ring of my finger choose so do you want card one or you want card two okay card one focus you need to focus in this week you need to connect and focus in this week focus 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 ladies and gentlemen you need to focus in this week all right if you choose card two the wind fairy thought words intelligent analysis okay so this week is going to be positive whatever you say 
is going to be your reality so be aware of what you say in this week the wind fairy is here okay love you guys love you guys I gotta go um, happy new year and I will speak to you in the year